All right, so we're now moving on to my investing activities. So it now it says calculate the proceeds from the sale of equipment. Now, I could just cheat and tell you that the proceeds from the sale of my equipment are 17000 But we're going to go through the process of identifying how would I reconstruct that account. Now, it tells me that my opening balance in equipment was zero and my closing balance was 160000 So, like every other account, I'm going to start with my opening balance because it's an asset to debit balance. Opening and my closing, 180, no, 160. That's 160 there, people. 160. So I'm going to tick off this one and this one. Now I'm going to look into my further information. It says equipment costing 180,000 was purchased for cash. So I'm going to say um, cash paid. 180. So which gives me 180 here. And uh, so there's 180 here. So that must mean somewhere along the line we sold items for 20,000. And if I look there, equipment costing 20,000 was sold. Okay, so sold 20,000. That sold is not cash flow. My cash flow is here. We're going to go. Th we go through this exercise to work out what my cash proceeds were. So I know my cash outflow was 180. The next steps we're going to do is cash inflow. Alright, now my accumulated depreciation. We do the whole process because we need that information for these steps here that are calculated. My accumulated depreciation. Asset account. Opening balance was zero. Closing balance was 16. Now I know that, I know it's in my assets but this is a negative asset, so my opening balance is a credit. And my closing <coughs> was 16. <coughs> now it tells me up here in my uh, <coughs> items up here that my, non, uh, my depreciation expense was 18. So expense was 18,000. And equipment costing 20,000 with it had a carrying amount of 18,000 when it was sold, so the difference between those two must have been the 2,000. So I can prove my sale. Sale of, which gives me 18 here and 18 here. Now I use this figure and um, this figure in the calculation of my equipment because what I'm looking to do is find the cash proceeds from the sale of my equipment. So that's the number I'm looking for down here. And I have to go through this exercise in order to come up with the sale. Now it says cost of equipment sold. We've worked it out to be 20000 It told me it was 20000 over here in my question. So, good. So it said 20000 Accumulated depreciation of the equipment sold, well, we worked that out to be 2000 So the carrying amount of my equipment sold was 18000 And it tells me that in my question. There it is there, 18000 Now, carrying amount of the equipment sold, we've just worked our calculation out there, 18000 And loss on the sale of equipment. Here's my loss on the sale of equipment. Now, remember that's a non-cash flow. Right. Loss on the sale of equipment was 1000 So that must mean my cash proceeds on the sale of equipment was $17,000. Now that's important because that agrees to the amount that it's told me in the question. So you could skip, if you were good enough to be able to work out the cash items here, you could just skip these steps, save you a bit of time in the exam, and just pick the information from the question. 
but we do it the long way so you understand what's going on. So that takes care of my investing activities. So now I've got the last bit which is my financing activities and I'm looking at my proceeds of notes payable. So my notes payable, now we had a note payable, it's a liability because it's a payable. Started with an opening balance of zero and a closing balance of 90,000. And it told me here notes were issued for face value of 90,000 in cash, these are a long term source of borrowing. So if my opening balance is zero and my closing balance is 90,000, so that means there is 90 and here is 90, that must mean cash received is 90,000. And that agrees with what my question says. So that cash received goes into my cash flow statement. Now we're going to look at retained earnings. So we're ticking these off slowly but surely. Ticking them off slowly but surely. Retained earnings, we've got them here. My opening balance was 42000 My closing balance was 94000 Retained earnings is an equity account. Normal balance on my equity accounts is credit. So I know my opening balance, whoops, opening, so I used to put in 42000 which agrees with that. And my closing was 94000 Now what goes through my retained earnings account? What increases my retained earnings account? What increases my retained earnings accounts is profits. So I'm going to put my profits in here. 94000 So 94 and 42 is 96, 136000 Oops, sorry, I was looking at that going, hang on, that doesn't work out right. So that's 126,000, I should say. So 84, not 94. And so if this is 126,000, what is my cash dividend? And the difference between here and here is 32,000. And so that's my cash dividend, which agrees to what was told to me in the question that my cash dividend was 32000 So I can now prove that figure. Is everyone okay at this point? Now we just want to create my cash flow statement. <coughs> 